Let's talk business with Cosmo Macero, O'Neill and Associates. I don't really know if I want to talk about this, Cosmo. <laughs> you want to talk about this? Another really bad day, absolutely. Uh, it was terrible. Tell tell everybody what this means to yeah. them, to uh, everybody. Yeah, uh, another big uh, another big down day on Wall Street. This is that new volatility, Maria. Um, you can't count on uh, stocks being up for any sustained period because they keep going down. A lot of concern about a global economic slowdown. The Fed, Federal Reserve says they're concerned about the U.S. economy. Even robust global markets and economies like China and Germany, they're slowing down. All bad signs, all hitting us right where it hurts at Wall Street. Okay, but so what does that mean to me? What does that mean to my wallet, to your wallet, to everybody's wallet? How, how does this impact us? The problem is there's really nowhere to hide. You don't want to put your money in stocks. You don't want to put your money in commodities and uh, and uh, and gold and silver and even cash. That's not that safe from inflation because you're not getting much of a return. If you've got money, you probably ought to save as much as you can. Uh, and if you've got uh, high debt, you probably want to try and pay that down. So, so the investors are losing hope of, of avoiding a double dip recession. Investors are losing hope. There's a lot of concern. There's fear, and the behaviors that can jumpstart or at least help the economy, like big spending, right. not the smart thing for the average consumer to do. Uh, if you got a job, do everything you can to hang on to it. Can we talk about Netflix? Oh, absolutely. That's sort of a disaster, too. Yeah, what a big mess. Uh, you know, they took a huge hit by raising their fees essentially 60%. Then they split their services from uh, to uh, a separate service for uh, online streaming and a separate service for the mail delivery, which people love. Man, they've lost... Uh, uh, customers uh, by the droves, over a million customers. Right. They're calling that new service Quickster. And why would they even change the name, Cosmo? I mean, you know how that is. It's all about branding. You keep it the same, right? You're right on. A real branding issue. Quickster reminds me of Napster and Friendster. It's wicked 2002. A real <laughs> branding issue. Uh, the CEO issued a major apology to all the customers. Uh, that, that could mean he could be in trouble when you have to say, yeah. you know what, I really messed up here. Uh, are these Coca-Cola bottles? What is this all about? Uh, you know, Coke uh, last year introduced a 16-ounce bottle for 99 cents. Okay. Now they're introducing a 12-and-a-half-ounce bottle for 89 cents. They're cutting the price on the small 7-and-a-half-ounce bottles. They're creating different price points and sizes to get consumers buying uh, at different areas. Uh, you know, uh, some of the, uh, the, the smaller uh, portion sizes are for people who are calorie conscious, as well as getting them to buy if they're not going to buy the bigger portions. Why do you like this story so much? Uh, because I drink a lot of Diet Coke. <laughs> And I always leave about four ounces in that 20-ounce bottle. So I'm going to the 16. Now I'm going to the 12 and a half. There you go. That's just for you, Cosmo, at our Beacon Hill studio. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.